Hi folks, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create pattern of pattern and how to create reference pattern. So let's start. We will create new 3D model and we'll be for example S01 and we will specify simple extrude feature. Yeah, in the simple extrude feature, I will create the simple shape and over here, for example, will be dimension 400 and, for example, 600, yeah? If I will finish, and over here, in this plate, for example, depth will be 20, doesn't matter. Over here, we would like to create first hole. And if I will select the hole, and I will select the references, so you can specify the references. For example, we will specify references offset value from here and here. And dimension will be 250. And diameter is OK. We will change later. And for example, 150. And diameter will be only 6 because, for example, screw 6 will be placed. And depth will be through all. OK, great. So first hole is created. And the question from you was that if you would like to create this pattern feature here in this corner, and then same pattern will be placed around the middle axis, we can say. So best practice is if you will create a pattern, and you know that you would like to go with this dimension by minus, for example, 25. And over here again, I would like to go here. So I would like to go to minus 25. Yeah, and you can see that if I will select only reference, the system will always change the first reference. So be careful. If you would like to select more information, you can use the click second direction. Yeah, you can click here or here, and then you can specify the value. So be careful if you will only select or if you will choose the references from the ribbon or from the menu. Yeah, so right now you can see that the first dimension is going into minus 25 and second dimension minus 25. Perfect. OK, I will confirm. And right now we have created first pattern. If you would like to continue, we can use the pattern of pattern. What does it mean? Select feature from the tree, use the flyout menu on use the pattern feature from the ribbon. If you will select it, you can again specify dimensions or dimension pattern or you can specify direction pattern. So I'd like to use that in the first direction, I'd like to reuse this reference. I'd like to drag and you know that, for example, you would like to offset or use the offset value for 500. And the second direction, I will use and click select here. We will specify this reference and you can simply drag and specify for example, 300. And if you will finish, the system will create pattern of pattern. And if you would like to create right now, for example, the chamfer, yeah? So you will create a chamfer over here, something smaller one, 0 0.5 for example only. And if I will use the pattern right now, the system will create reference pattern. And you can see the reference pattern is only for the feature. So it will be go here. If I will finish, you can see that it will be only here, but not here. What does it mean? You can select the definition and specify, please create in the group. So right now you can see that system will create pattern only here. Nope, we would like to select both. And right now the feature chamfer is created, we can say everywhere. Yes, of course, it's a possible to select by any definition that, for example, over here, you don't want to create this member. So the system will change the references. Yeah, but I think that it is much better if you would like to create everywhere, but you can choose. Yeah, so it's up to you. So I will use the undo and right now we have chamfer everywhere. Great. So it was explanation how to create 
pattern of pattern and then we have reused logic of the re reference pattern but how we would like if you would like to drive this pattern in the assembly we can try if i will create new assembly and for example a011 something like this and we will apply the model from the memory so we can use the default placement and over here I'd like to place right now in one hole the screw so for example the screw will be this one if I will open in the small window yeah you can see the screw over here is somewhere like this so it's up to you you can drag the object or you can select references from the window so I would like to select directly here and we will select the placement so surface the surface yeah right now if you will drag up and down with control alt and right mouse button you can drag or you can use the dragger here and then as the second reference we will specify the surface the surface and we will specify coincident for example okay the first screw is definite yes of course you can specify the nuts and washers and so on but we would like to pattern this screw so if you will select this pattern the system again select that will be reference pattern by feature again only here no you would like to go everywhere so please specify that you would like to select the both and then if you will confirm the system will create reference pattern everywhere if you will replace screw or you will change the pattern on the source yes yeah, so for example if i will select that i will open and for example we can specify edit definition for this pattern and we can change the dimension here for example 250 and three times yeah something like this simply to quick and simply right now everything is updated yeah and if i will finish what we need to do over here in the assembly is the regenerate and if you will regenerate the screw is everywhere because this pattern is again reference pattern from source I hope so did you like this example how to create pattern of pattern and logic of the reference pattern what i have explained to you please share this video with your colleagues like or donate me by coffee thank you and bye bye vladimir